Hello and welcome to AM Guitar with me, Anjay. Today we are looking at the Amp Silo. If, like me, you use a 1x12 combo or a 2x12 or a 1x8 combo, one of the things you may have noticed is if you're right in front of it or you're in the audience in front of it or your bandmates are in front of it, that centre position in front of your amp can sound a little bit harsh. Someone described it once as like a bag of nails being thrown in your face. The reasons for this are manyfold, but basically the position you're in, just the high frequencies are hitting you and it sounds a bit awful. And, um, and I've experienced this when I've been playing live, I've experienced it when I'm in the um, studio, people asking me to turn the amp down because it sounded horrible because of the position of the amp and where they were standing uh, in relation to it. Not a new phenomenon. Lots of people have had this problem and there are various solutions. BB King used to turn his amp towards, a, uh, no, sorry, he used to put his uh, case in front of it. I've turned it towards the wall. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan used to put sort of a cross of uh, gaffer tape across the middle of the speaker. There are perspexy, really expensive perspex things you can put in front that channel all the sound off and all these sorts of things. Lots of different ways you can deal with it. Um, and the amp solo is just one of them. Now I first saw this on Shane's In The Blues channel and I was really interested in it. I reached out to the guys at uh, Amp Solo and said, you know, you're in the US, have you got a UK supplier that I could buy one from? Because they're about $30 in the US. I just wanted to know whether they have one in the UK or if they could post it out, whatever. And they very kindly offered to send me this for free. So I have been provided this. I said, you know, if you do a review of it, have it for free, tell us what you think. When it turned up, I'm not going to lie, I was a little concerned. It looks like a car mat. The just when it arrived, I'm not going to lie. I was a little concerned. It looks like a car mat. There's no way around it. it looks like a car mat or a doormat. However, I am assured that the materials, the size, the shape, everything has been heavily researched to get the best possible results. I'm going to believe them. Simple as that. I have to. I have to have some faith in this world. The way you use it is very simple. You roll it up into a tube and you place it in front of your amp. Dead center at a distance where it sounds good to your ears. And again, like I said, at this point, when I'm first trying it, I took it down the studio with me for the first time, and I'm very skeptical at this point. I put my katana down, I put this in front, turn it on, and didn't really notice anything. It was like, well, you know, amp sounds like my amp. I then took it away, and suddenly there's those harsh frequencies. So I put it back just to make sure it wasn't my ears playing tricks with me, and sure enough, it sounded a bit fuller, a bit more bass, a bit less treble but still sounded like my sound, just not as harsh from directly in front of the amp. Obviously, if I'm off to the side of the amp or above it, it sounded the same as usual. But because of the way that we are in the studio, we're all in like a circle and everyone's facing the amps, essentially. So I tried it a few times, and sure enough, every time I put it in front of the amp, I personally found it sounded nicer to be stood in front of. It is impossible for me to demo this for you because you have to be in the room with it to really notice it. Um, so I'm, I'm asking you to trust me here. If it didn't work, I would tell you because, like I said, I'm very skeptical about these kind of things and I wasn't convinced. I thought it'd be a really short video. You know, here's the amp solo, silo, doesn't do anything, don't buy it. Actually, I think it's really good for a number of reasons. It's not very expensive, $30. Now these Perspex things you get are really expensive compared to that, and they're very bulky. The other thing is, it's got these little holes in it. And what you can do is you can take your kind of SM57 type mic, put it in the hole with the lead coming out of here, and you can use it to mic your amp up. 
because um, this sits pretty solidly. If you have a twin speaker, like two, a 2x12, two you need two of these, obviously. If you've got your um, combo up on something, you can put it on a mic stand and put it in front. The other thing about this, if I just do it, it folds up or rolls up very small. This fits perfectly under the speaker of my katana. So this can just sit in the bottom of the katana, travels with me, unroll it, put it in front of the amp, and it makes everything sound a bit better. And there's a picture of, uh, picture of it in the studio the other day. And like I said, it works really well. It does what I wanted it to do, or it does what it said it was going to do. It takes out those harsh frequencies. It removes that bag of nails that gets thrown at your face if you're sat right in front of a, uh, a small speaker. So if you use a small combo amp and you use it live or you find it harsh, I can heartily recommend this. It's well built, it's sturdy, it doesn't take up much space, it's not very expensive, and it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Makes your small combo amp seem less harsh, slightly fuller, and generally more pleasant to be in front of. My band is grateful for it, I'm grateful for it. So cheers again to Amp Silo for sending this out to me. Definitely recommend it. Get in touch with them. Like I said, it's about $30 if you're in the US. Um, I'm sure shipping's not too expensive. I haven't discussed that with them. Definitely recommended. And that's that. Now, if you've got your own method, you put a curtain in front of yours, bit of carpet on it, turn it to the wall, whatever, let me know in the comments. Have you tried one of these? Let me know what you think of them. Have you tried one of the Perspex ones? Let me know what you think of them. Like, subscribe, and I will see you again very, very soon. Cheers.